first down, they hand off to Marlon Mack. Huge hole, 50-yard line. He's at the 40, still going near sideline. He's at the 10, he's at the 5, and he will score. Touchdown, Marlon Mack. Touchdown, I-N-D-Y. And again, it's picked off. It's Darius Leonard. Leonard with a second INT, and he's streaking down the near sideline. He's at the 40, he's at the 30, he's at the 20. He's going to go. A pick six for the Maniac. Horseshoe is back, baby. The horseshoe is back. What is good, Colts Nation? Welcome back to the Bring the Juice Colts podcast. Just wanted to give you guys a quick injury report update for week two of the NFL season for the Indianapolis Colts. The first and biggest one that everyone is wondering about, and that's Jack Doyle. Tight end for the Indianapolis Colts. Did not practice all week. He has been declared out with an ankle slash knee injury. So we will not see Jack Doyle at all this week, which is unfortunate for sure. But here's the one reason why I don't think that that's necessarily going to be a huge issue going into at least this week. Hopefully it's nothing serious, but... For future reference, I think that for this week specifically, Mo Ali Cox will fit right into the role that they want from him right now. I think it'd be a great opportunity to get Mo Ali Cox more ta- more targets, more abilities to showcase himself, and obviously he's a good run blocker. So I think ultimately this week specifically, I think it's okay to miss Jack Doyle. But obviously for long term, we certainly hope Jack Doyle. Uh, will be part of this team going forward and we expect him to just don't know the severity of this injury but hopefully it's just a one week thing but outside of that the Colts maintained pretty good uh pretty good injury status nonetheless I mean Malik Hooker didn't practice Wednesday due to illness but he's been a full participant the last two days so he will be out there Zach Pascal was a is listed as questionable but Zach Pascal was out on the field Thursday, and he was a full participant today. So I fully anticipate Zach Pascal getting the chance to play this Sunday as well. So that's not an issue. Julian Blackman. Now, a lot of people were wondering, uh, he was a limited participant all week, okay? And people were wondering, are they going to actually activate him and let him play a little bit? My gut instinct is that he does not, uh, even though he's listed as questionable for this week. I don't anticipate to see much of Julian Blackman, if at all, this week. Might be another week or two before we actually see that. Good no- Good news is, though, that they do anticipate uh, that his return will be coming within the next two or three weeks because he's been doing really well with his rehab. Justin Houston uh, was a non-participant in Thursday and Friday's practice. So a lot of people were wondering, how is he going to do? Well, he did tell reporters today, that he is a full go. He is ready to play for Sunday. So that's good news. He was listed as questionable, but I don't anticipate seeing Justin Houston missing this game. Said he's ready to go. So expect to see Justin Houston out there, which is obviously really good. Isaiah Rogers was a full participant in today's practice, but did not participate in Thursdays. So he's questionable for this game as well. Not much news on Rodgers, uh, although he is questionable. I would anticipate that he'd play if the circumstances came to it. And Michael Pittman uh, did not practice Friday today, but limited participant on Thursday. Uh, We know that he was dealing with that toe issue a little bit at uh, at the beginning of the week, but he didn't seem to have much issue. So I fully anticipate Michael Pittman to be out there as well. Uh, wouldn't expect him to go down too further either. And Danico Autry obviously sat out today for rest. Costanzo sat out because of rest today, and so did Hilton. So basically, guys, the only person that we're guaranteeing is not going to be out there for Sunday is Jack Doyle. Outside of that, pretty much everyone else is ready to go. So again, the Colts are maintaining pretty good health from uh, team-wise. Obviously, we lost Marlon Mack, but you know, with the injury report the way it is, Even though it's extensive in that regard, not a lot of players expected to miss a lot of time, especially for this Sunday, so that's obviously good news. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hope you all enjoyed, and as always, go Colts.